Hi folks, Doyle Dykes here. Welcome to my Sunday String Along. And I'll be stringing along today with a beautiful old Gibson, several guitars here today, but this is an old J185. We'll start off with a, well, how about a uh, Thanksgiving song? Happy Thanksgiving, folks. <laughs> Thanksgiving, folks. And uh, if you don't believe me, go to Wikipedia and look it up. But <laughs> they say that is a, a Thanksgiving song. And if it ain't true, it ought to be, like my old buddy John Hall always said. But I believe it is. And uh, I heard, you know, the guy that wrote that, and I should have went back and got all that information here, but I didn't. But he was from Boston, but moved down to Georgia. And they say that quite possibly the first place that was ever played with us it was at some function at a church uh and in savannah georgia what about that so i believe it <laughs> but you know it doesn't snow very much in savannah but it does doesn't it fred gretch could tell you that so anyway but uh, great great guitar
saving my soul. We have a lot to be thankful for, especially that. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to me thy grace, salvation, so full and free. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Thank you, Lord, for making me whole. I like that little run. Thank you, Lord, for giving. Thy grace, salvation, so full and free. You also heard it this way. Thy grace, salvation, so rich and free. I love those songs. Be thankful. You know, this is a time of Thanksgiving, but, you know, for us, every day is a day of Thanksgiving. And uh, that's the way we believe on the string along. That's what you believe. I believe absolutely, no doubt. Every day we wake up, we ought to say, thank you, Lord, for another day. I know most folks that watch this program, they know how I feel about that, and I believe you feel the same way. So every day is Thanksgiving to us. But we are uh, thankful for Thanksgiving. <laughs> so here we go. I'll change guitars. I'll hush here uh, and uh, switch over to something else. Uh, this is a, a guitar. All these guitars have old strings, but they still sound good. Even uh, old GHS strings sound great. By the way, I haven't said anything in a while about all of our things to support the string along. I haven't said anything for weeks, but uh, Thank you for buying boxes of these things, and they're great. This is a Doyle Dykes uh, signature set that I use on all my um, uh, acoustic guitars, as well as we have, uh, well, I don't see one here, but we have nylon strings as well. And it goes on a guitar like the uh, Sand, which I have one right here in front of me, the Sand guitar, and uh, these are nylon strings. And if you notice here, the third string is wound and so i like a wound third on my uh, nylon string guitar and the first two are stone ground so you can uh, get up under them kind of do the pull-offs and things like that uh, this is a guitar i love i got it from uh, mark jones years ago and uh, grandpa's son uh, also we have t-shirts we have capos all kinds of capos if you can go to shub capos and get these beautiful uh, clamp type capos and this one here is the type that I use all the time and I started to use one on this song I'm doing now but I decided to do a drop D either way it sounds great but this is a, a most right guitar it was made by Semi Mosley in California <laughs> I've had it sitting out. I don't leave my guitar sitting out all the time. I keep them in cases most of the time. But this one... Joe Mathis gave this as a gift to Mark Jones and uh, Grandpa's son. And, uh, oh, I just love this guitar. Let me bring this over a little more here and see.
I saw a song I play, but I was just thinking about Mark and uh, Grandpa, his dad. They were my friends and very, very special friends. And and uh, Grandpa wrote a song years ago about his friends. And this is a great time of year to be talking about the fallen leaves. <laughs> That were here now can't be found. All the friends that he once had are not around. They are scattered like the leaves upon the ground. Some folks drift along through life. And never thrill to the feeling that a good deed brings until it's too late and they are ready to lie down there beneath the leaves that scatter. Stop and always give a helping hand when I'm laid beneath that little grassy mound. There'll be more friends around than leaves upon the ground. I usually don't sing that verse, let me sing it again. Lord, let my eyes see every need for every man. Make me stop and always lend a helping hand. When I'm laid beneath that little grassy mound, there'll be more friends around than leaves upon the ground. My favorite. To your grave there's no use taking any gold. You cannot use it when it's time for hands to fold. When you leave this earth for a better home someday. The only thing you'll take is what you gave away.
That's not the way it ends, but uh, I wasn't planning on playing that. I haven't played that in a while. And uh, sorry I messed that verse up, but let me read that again. Lord, let my eyes see every need for every man. Make me stop and always lend a helping hand. And then when I'm laid beneath that little grassy mound, there will be more friends around than leaves upon the ground. Grandpa Jones and uh, his son Mark's guitar. And uh, wow, uh, you know, we should be thankful for the friends we have here today, but we should also be thankful for the friends that we have had through the years. And let's, you know, we can be sad about it, but at the same time, sorry, we can be sad about that, but at this, isn't that a gorgeous guitar? But at the same time, you know, this makes me happy to think about Mark, Mark Jones. It makes me happy to think about Grandpa. I was on uh, Huckabee, the Huckabee show, if you, not a few days ago, last weekend actually, and uh, we've had a lot of comments on that. We appreciate you folks watching. And, um, uh, you know, I just, uh, Keith Bilbury, I, I've known him for many years. Keith, uh, of course, is the announcer for the Huckabee Show. And he said, I miss Grandpa. And we talked about Grandpa <laughs> the whole weekend, I mean, the whole time we were together. And uh, he said, man, I'd just like to hang out with you more and hear more Grandpa stories. And I said, well, you know a few yourself, Keith, you know. And Grandpa was a real deal. We were, I was thinking about him in 1998, January. He was at the, uh, the Grand Ole Opry playing. And, and right after his performance, standing on the side of the stage, I think he was probably the host of the show, and he just collapsed right there on the stage of the Opry. And uh, I mean, within they said it was like two minutes. They had a stretcher there on on the stage, and and uh, the last thing anybody remembers him saying said, "Well, boys, I think I struck a snag." <laughs> That's what Grandpa used to say to me a lot. Hey, did you strike a snag? Where you been? Did you strike a snag? And uh, oh man, if you were running a little bit late or something like that. And that's what he said. And uh, he died uh, not too long ago, or not too long after that. I think it was in March of 1998. Miss, uh, miss him, miss uh, Mark, miss so many of our friends. And, and uh, a lot of you have, have, have lost people, uh, you see, because this time of year, it makes people sad because they've lost loved ones that they had uh, perhaps the holiday season last year. And, uh, or maybe it could have been just recently for you. And uh, I know there are people that have been watching the string along uh, that have expressed, you know, their, their desires for prayers, you know, that because they lost. I know Chris was one of those. And, uh, and we, we pray, we continue to pray for you folks, you know. But at the same time, we rejoice in the relationships that God has given us in this life. So we thank God for them. We can be thankful for that. This is Thanksgiving. And I lost my dad at Thanksgiving. Uh, I mean, the, the day before Thanksgiving in 08, uh, I played at his uh, memorial service. I'll never forget that. But uh, have, being thankful, that's something we do, as I said, every day. Uh, as uh, Oh, I've heard a number of preachers say this before, but I think the first person I ever said was Rick Warren. He said, you know, we should have an attitude of gratitude. And that's really what uh, Thanksgiving is all about. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, from, uh, from the will, excuse, excuse me, from then, from them will proceed Thanksgiving. I have to move it a little closer. From them will proceed Thanksgiving. Toda is actually the word there, Thanksgiving. And the voice of those who celebrate. From them will proceed Thanksgiving and the voice of those who celebrate. 
That word todah means thanksgiving in Hebrew. In uh, Psalms 116, verse 17, to you shall I offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving. And uh, it also, the word there is zerak todah, and upon the, the name, and call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, Psalm 116, 17 again, to you shall I offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. That word todah, once again, is the, is the word, the Hebrew word for thanks or for giving thanks, to express visible thanks. Uh, how do you do that? We'll talk about it. Adoration to God, extending the hands, and also audible praise. You know, people should see our praise. You know, not just hear, but people should see. I believe God loves to see our worship and to see our praise. So when we, uh, it, it's an extension of the hands. This is an act of surrender, you know, but it's also an act of praise and to extend the hands. Uh, the, there's also a Greek word in the Bible, you know, 71 times in the New Testament uh, mentions thankfulness. Uh, it sh means to show oneself grateful, gratitude, to be thankful. It comes, uh, uh, the word is actually Eucharist, uh, Eucharisteo. I don't know if I'm saying that, but it's where we get the word Eucharist from, which is we give thanks. When Jesus broke the bread, you know, he gave, he gave thanks. And that's what many denominations um, actually use the word Eucharist. We t call it communion, actually, in, uh, in a lot of the uh, Protestant churches. But it's the same thing as to give thanks, to show oneself grateful, gratitude, to be thankful. Uh, also, uh, a Hebrew word for praise is yada. It means hands to God. I love that. Hands to God. Hands to God. To be thankful. And, and all, you know, there's uh, praise to God is for thankful for who he is, but thanksgiving is giving thanks for what he's done and what he's done for our lives. To give thanks. It also means physical action. Also, to, to throw or to cast or you can even say today, even to play a guitar, to do something physical with the hands. Hands to God. I love that. If you're a guitar player, you know, remember that word, yada. Hands to God. Giving thanks to God through our instruments. And also, one of my favorite uh, scriptures, and I don't have my King James Version right here. I have others. I have the New Living. That's good. I like it. Let's do the New Living. And uh, I had not looked this one up, but uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, one of my favorite. I mean, I learned this from a child uh, in Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. It says here in the New Living Translation, Psalms 100, Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Or come before him with thanksgiving. I'll acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation and that includes us amen in psalms 95 let's go over just a just a few chapters here psalm 95 uh, verses 1 through 5 this is also a great uh, passage of scripture for thanksgiving come let us sing to the lord let us shout joyfully to the rock of our salvation and let us come to him with thanksgiving let us sing psalms of praise to him, for the Lord is a great God, a, a great king above all gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth, the mightiest mountains. The sea belongs to him, for he made it, and his hands form the dry land too. Talks about the hands of God there, but Thanksgiving talks about your hands to him. Hands to God. I love that. Yada. Hands to God, beautiful. And uh, uh, I remember years ago, my kids, I mean, if I did anything for my girls back before even Caleb, 
uh, was born, you take them to get them a ice cream. Oh, thank you, Daddy. I remember Haley when she was about I don't know four or five. I took her into a little convenience store, and she went to the Skittles or something, you know, that she liked. And Daddy, oh please, Daddy, let me have these. They're good for me, Daddy. They're good for me. And uh, she, and oh, thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for these. And uh, before I even bought them, and uh, got in the car again, she said, Oh, thank you. I love these these skittles and it just does something you know if i get get them an ice cream cone or take them buy them a meal or hamburger or whatever you know they just oh thank you dad thank you and uh you know it just makes me want to do more for them and at christmas when we give them uh, we lavish upon our kids as much as we possibly can afford we always have christmas is a big deal at our house and i mean i'm a tart for christmas i really am but uh, the, oh, thank you, Daddy, for this. And and my son, Caleb, thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. He knows and every little thing that if I would do something, he will call me up, thanks, Dad. Thank you. And it just makes you want to do more, you know, and it does. And our grandkids are the same way. All of them are the same way. Thank you, Poppy. And thank you, Mimi. Uh, what a blessing that is. And you don't think God feels the same way? that I do, but even magnified a whole lot more than that. When his kids thank him, it makes him want to do more. It makes me want to do more for my kids and my grandkids, I'll tell you that. I believe it'll make him want to do more for you. <laughs> I remember one time I was on the outskirts of Washington, D.C., and I was about to go over to, to uh, England, I believe. No, it was Germany, I think it included England, uh, for Europe for the first time. And I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe I was going. I did a a clinic over there it was for Taylor Guitars. Bob Taylor, we just heard from Bob this week. And uh, I'll never forget, I said, Lord, thank you for blessing me. I can't believe I'm leaving our nation's capital. I'm going over to Europe. What a blessing that is to my, thank you so much for doing that. And, and I asked, I said, Lord, how come you just bless, you're blessing me so much. Why are you blessing me so much? And God sp spoke to me. I mean, I still remember it. This was probably 25 years, a little more than 25, about 26, 27 years ago. And, and God spoke to my heart. I said, why are you doing this, Lord? He said, because you always take time to thank me. And the more you thank me, the more I want to do for you. And he spoke that into my spirit. In my being, in my spirit. It wasn't an audible thing, but it was indelible in my heart. You know, And I knew uh, he said something to me. He said, the more you thank me, the more I want to do. And so it's like a circle that goes around. The more you thank him, the more he'll do. And the more he does, the more you want to thank him. <laughs> you know? And it's just the way. Thanksgiving is a beautiful thing. And I, I, uh, I remember going to a church and, uh, and I said, I know, I'm just a guitar player, but I believe I know the will of God for everybody in this place. And man, you ought to have seen some of those folks looking at me like, who in the world do you think you are? I said, I'm just a guitar player, but I believe in Jesus' name. I know God's will for every person in this house. And they were just, I said, and here it is. And I turned my script, my Bible to the scripture here in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. This is in the Amplified. Thank God in everything, not for everything, but in everything, no matter what the circumstances may be. Be thankful and give thanks for this is the will of God for you who are in Christ Jesus, the revealer and the mediator of that will. And then it says, don't quench the Holy Spirit. Don't suppress the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. And so getting back on this, thank God in everything. Even maybe you have lost a loved one. You know, I don't want this holiday season to be depressing for you. That's what I'm getting at. I want you to enjoy this holiday season. It may be hard for some of you. You don't just really realize what I've gone through. God knows what you've gone through, and he understands. And you know, there are two times, you know, two times to praise the Lord, I've always said, when you feel like it and when you don't. <laughs> well, there's also two times to thank the Lord before you receive it and after you receive it. 
So begin to thank the Lord. Thank you, God, for peace in this holiday season. Thank you, Lord, that this is the best holiday season I'll ever have. And thank him for your loved ones that have, have gone on before. Thank him for your friends that you've lost. Thank him that you're going to have a great holiday season, even though they may not be with you. They would want that for you, and I believe that. And I'm in agreement God's going to bless you this time. There's a lot of turmoil in the world. Let's turn that around and give thanks to God. For this is, like it or not, this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And this, there's another word here also for thanksgiving. And I love this word, yada, hands to God. Physical action also means to throw or to cast. Now, I mentioned this word a while ago, but I don't know that I put emphasis on to throw or to cast. Hands to God, it also means to throw or to cast or even like shoot an arrow, but to project something, to project, to throw or to cast. And let's go to uh, 1 Peter. I love this, 1 Peter chapter 5. And this is one, <laughs> sorry for that. This is one of my very favorite verses in the Bible. Therefore, verse 6, 1 Peter 5, verse 6, amplified, Therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation under the mighty hand of God. Don't lower yourself under the hand of anyone else but God. You know, it says in your own estimation, you know, you know, we can be subordinate to him. I'm not talking about your boss or anything like that, but this is a spiritual thing here. Therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation under the mighty hand of God, that in due time, and your time is coming, that in due time he may exalt you. He may exalt you or lift you up. And then it goes on to say how to do that in the next verse. Casting the whole of your care, toda, to throw, to cast. I'm sorry, yada, I got them mixed up. Yada, hands to God, to give thanks, physical action. Also means to throw or to cast. Casting the whole of your care, all of your, W-H-O-L-E, all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns, all of them, once and for all, on him, for he cares for you affectionately, and he cares about you watchfully. He care Let me read that again. Therefore, humble yourselves, demote, lower yourselves in your own estimation, under the mighty hand of God, that in due time he may exalt you. How do you do that? Casting the whole of your care all of your anxieties, all of your worries, all of your concerns, once and for all, take your burdens to the Lord and leave them there. Remember what he said? On him, for he cares for you affectionately and he cares about you watchfully. Father God, thank you for this message today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes, thank you indeed. Lord, we give thanks for who you are. We give thanks for our salvation. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for making us whole. And Lord, but also thank you for, uh, for your peace and for your strength and encouragement and for your supernatural confidence, Lord, that goes beyond ourselves. Thank you for every person listening to me today. God, thank you that they will not be depressed, that they will not fall under depression on this holiday season, but they will glorify you and be thankful for the people that you put in their lives, the relationships that they've had, but more than anything, our relationship with you and the peace of God. Thank you for the peace of God that passes all understanding. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I'm going to go to, I think it's okay to go in, into a prayer, if, even in the prayer. I, I want to go to Philippians chapter 4. And, and I read this the other day, um, and, and it's also one of my very favorite passages of Scripture. This is Philippians chapter 4. And uh, let's start with verse 6. Let's see if I can find this. Here it is. Do not fret. You remember we talked about it the other day. Do not fret 
or have any anxiety about anything. Just don't do it. That's what he said. This is a, this is a, ch a choice. But in, once again, in every situation and in everything, same word, by prayer and petition, definite request, tell him what you want. Here's the key, with thanksgiving. With thanksgiving, continue to make your wants known to God. Continue to make your wants known to God. And God's peace shall be yours, that tranquil state of a soul assured of its salvation through Christ. And so fearing nothing from God and being content with its earthly lot of whatever sort that is, that peace, wherever you are, wherever you're living, wherever you're staying right now, wherever you are even right now spiritually, that peace which transcends all understanding shall garrison and mount guard over your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. You're not going to lose your mind. Amen. God is in control. He's in control in Jesus' name. If you haven't received Christ, and it, it, let me tell you, it'll be you'll be so thankful if you'll do this. Say, Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus, the Son of God. I believe he is. I believe he lived. I believe he died. I believe he rose from the grave. I believe he sits at your right hand right now. Jesus, forgive me my sins. I repent. Change my life. Live in me. Make me what you want me to be. And I'll live for you in Jesus' name. I receive you as Lord of my life in Jesus' name. And he'll receive you as his child. Amen. God bless you, folks. Thanks and happy Thanksgiving. And thanks for joining me on my Sunday String Along.